Hey everybody, I'm Kay Gay. I'm Kristen. Welcome back to our channel. This is Kay and Kay Crochet. And we wanted to give you an update. Every month we come and give a progress update on what we've been doing. And I will say, um, most of it has been Bubble Bees Mountain Outreach, but not a lot of that either. And it's just been, we've been doing other things. We've been working on Christmas Extravaganza for July. We've been working on a couple of different things. So, um, those types of things have taken up our time and so here we are trying to figure out at the end of the month like we always are what we're doing for our hats because we both made a goal that we would do at least one hat a month for Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach and it's been really good to keep us on top of things at least for me. How about you? Yeah it reminds me to do them. Yeah because we may slack all month long and then at the end of the month go oh we need one. We have a progress goal to meet so we need at least one. So that's what has happened to me at the end of most of the months. Some of the beginning of the months I've done them. Because what will happen is, at the end of the month, I'll go, oh, I need at least one. And I'll do a couple. And then the day after, when we're in the new month, I'll do a couple more, usually. So that goes to the next month. That didn't happen this time. But anyway, I did get two finished. So I did this. And this is... Ew, that's really blown out. I don't know what this pink is. It's like a salmon color red heart. I don't like it. Um, but this in the middle here is Mainstay Multa, and it's like a purple and a pink. I like the way it pulled. It's got like the slashes like that. I really like that. So it's just a basic hat pattern. I started out with 10 double crochet and then increased. And then when I got down here, I did front post, back post, double crochet to make the brim. And that's it. Just a little kitty hat. I really like it. It's super cute. And then, um, I did another one with that same pink. And then with that black sparkle yarn that I used in my mood project this week. So um, just along the edge. And this was, both of these were scraps. They were from my scrap bin. So that's what I've been trying to do is work up some of the things that are in my scrap bin. So that, um, you know, they go to good use and aren't just laying there. I mean, I'll use them eventually for amigurumi or something. But if I can get my hats out of that and not open a new skein, then that's wonderful. Although I do have some... Um, new skeins that were donated in Chunky that I need to get out and work up to and I've got to find a pattern for that that I like. So that's my progress for Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach. What's yours? I have one hat. Pretty color. It's Red Heart Topaz. Yep. I think. Very pretty color. Looks I like, like that octopus, color. It's because the way I sewed it on. It's pretty. I like that color. It's very pretty. So that means three hats for Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach. If you don't know what that is, Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach is a, um, an outreach that we formed in memory of my brother, and it focuses on mental health. And the way we do that is random acts of kindness that we um, do in the community. And around December, we hand out hats to people in the community through Christmas parades, and we also just randomly walk through or drive through parking lots and bless people and hand them out. Um, it's not a monetary thing. It has nothing to do with how much money you make. We don't ask any questions. We just hand them out to people and um, also help some of the local organizations here who pick up hats or uh, who collect hats in order to help those who are in need. So that's what we do with those. Other progress that we've made, um, I still have not done any Christmas amigurumis, but that's okay. That'll come later. But I have done, Chris and I together have done a ton of the towels with the toppers on them, crochet toppers, and some of those were for Christmas presents, and some of them were for donation to um, some local charities that we help support, so, or that we donate to, it's not, I don't guess you call that support, but it's items that we donate to them for auction, that sort of thing, so um, I was counting up the other day, and I think out of the eight gifts that I was going to make handmade, all of them are done except for maybe two. And I'm thinking uh, there may be other things added because that's just kind of, you know, how you do when you get done early. But I'm thinking all but two are finished. And um, two of them were actually gifted as birthday presents instead of Christmas presents. And so, yeah. And so we've um, come along. I've got maybe one or two. One I know for sure a big project for Christmas I'm still working on. And then I've got one or I think it's just one smaller um, thing that I have to do. So We'll see what happens, and hopefully by the time I fi we finish um, Christmas Extravaganza, that project will also be, the smaller project will also be completed, because I think it's going to be one of our um, gifts for Christmas Extravaganza. So, anything else that you finished this month? Mm -mm. Anything new you want to add to your list of goals? 
Not that I can think of the top of my head. I'm overwhelmed. I'm too overwhelmed to add anything else. Um, I have a long list of things I'd like to make. So, yep. But that's our progress for the month. We hope you're doing well. Why don't you tell us what your progress is down below. Tell us what the weather is like where you're at. It's freezing here. <laughs> we went from really warm to really cold. And uh, that's why I'm wearing the sh uh, pocket shawl. Yeah. I'm freezing to death. So, anyway, we hope you're having a great day. Let us know what your progress is. Let us know what you need help progressing on. Maybe it's a pattern you're looking for. Maybe it's that you're stuck with a pattern that you don't understand. Maybe it's that you are spinning your wheels and don't know which way to go or what to do next. Let us know. I'm sure somebody can give you a little bit of inspiration to help you along the way. We all need that occasionally, right? Mm -hmm. So don't forget to be kind to yourself first and to others also because you don't know what anybody else is going, to, going through. We hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye.